Yo, what's up, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? You know, I never seen that, but my homie always tells me to watch it and stuff. I did play the game back in the day. That was like a fighting game and stuff. Anyway, what's up, team? This is uh, Pestilence or uh, Pestilence Megatron, Infestatron, Insectatron. Lots of great names shared from um, coming from the community, both from YouTube and IG. And uh, yeah, it's been really, really cool putting this guy together. So much fun undertaking this project. Uh, in this video, I'm not going to go over the tutorial and stuff like that. I mean, I will talk about them and, and show how some of the bits are connected. But I figure, uh, I don't know. I don't think everybody, not too many people have all these ingredients at home, right? And so in terms of what those ingredients are, we have a Siege Megatron. We have the small shrapnel, the legends from, uh, I don't know which era, CW, maybe, or Generations or something. Um, and all the other ones are from the Legacy line, two shrapnels and two kickbacks. Uh, in terms of the quote-unquote glue, the stuff that's binding them together, it's two Centurion drones. And 100% um, of um, the parts are used. Actually, I take that back. Um, some of the bits that aren't used are the accessories from the, the Insecticons. You can see that the, um, the translucent wings, you know, the add-on wings for kickback are not used, nor is his gun. Same thing for shrapnel as well. Um, funny story, really quick, is uh, that one of my shrapnels came with two silver guns and one purple gun, meaning like the numbers, the quantity got swapped. Um, I hit up Hasbro Pulse and they're just like, uh, ah, we don't, we don't have a replacement in stock because it's a pretty rare figure uh, or not like it's not in abundance right now, but they sent me over to um, standard Hasbro consumer care and they were just like, uh, you could either get your refund or, uh, you know what, we'll hook you up with a new toy. And uh, they're like, it's probably not going to be what you bought. <laughs> it's probably going to be, I mean, in my mind, I'm like, I bet you it's RC. I bet you it's RC or something like that. But um, anyway, whatever. So I opted to uh, just get a free toy. I was like, eh, I'll live with the bad accessory from uh, Shrapnel anyway. So it's fine. It's fine. Um, all right. In terms of um, how this guy's connected, this over here is the Centron arm. And uh, it's just plugging the Megatron. Then it's plugged into the kickback and the front. What's really cool is that this bit is connected to his feet and it's like, perfect width uh, be spaced apart and then that's the back part of a brunt or a centurion drone and then we have the super cannon so it makes like it makes it looks like he's holding these guns you know i think that's super tight yeah and i hope the video doesn't get like delisted or demonetized or whatever because the thing is talking about guns but whatever this is arguably the most difficult part of the build to get in here to stay put because there's no five millimeter connections holding him in place what's actually happening is so the the legs of the robot on the bottom right what we've done is we've pushed them up and sandwiched them between, you know how Megatron's leg has that little bit that slides back? So that's the Insecticon leg being held in by the, the Megatron little like, um, I don't know what you call those, the panels that slide backward. And so those are just kind of squeezing those legs together. And then these legs are uh, pressed. <laughs> Man, I could feel my tongue getting all cut up. These legs are pressing up against the th uh, the calves of Megatron. So it's a bit of tension, friction. And uh, I mean, it's fine. But uh, to get it in this position, yeah, it took a little bit of finesse. Um, in terms of the bottom, how this is all connected is uh, this. The Centurion drone is actually connected to the underside of the foot. And this is really cool. Look how uh, the shrapnel legs basically just hug the Centurion body. And this piece, the back of the Centurion drone's gun, is what plugs into the back of shrapnel. And the bottom over here, we have one of the arms and one of the thighs. That's really about it. And so more or less, that describes uh, how this guy is made without me completely dissecting him. And dude, has he been blurry the whole time? Oh, Lord. Maybe he has. Oh, well. Say la vist. Say la vist. Anyway, uh, I hope you all have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I hope you like the build as well. And I hope you hope, 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 hope.